Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys some gifts that I created. They actually started back in July. This is how late I am, but I wanted to make some thank you gifts for the designers that helped me put together the Christmas in July hop. And if you guys have not seen that, I will link the video that I made for it up in the cards up here. And if you go to that video, you can see the whole list of all the designers that participated and get some amazing ideas. So first I created some three by three cards. Actually, these might be three and a half by three and a half. And I just did some layering. I cut each one of these mats probably, I think about a quarter of an inch smaller than the previous one. This one is a vellum sheet that I got from Hobby Lobby. I believe this is from the LOL collection. I die cut out some of these words. Um, I think this is a pink and main die, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it is. I cut it out about two times from some 110 pound cardstock and then on the top I layered it with this rose gold um, foil paper. So just a little thanks note for them. And let me share with you what I created. So here it is. This is just one example. They're all pretty much the same but different. I did a lot of techniques on this. I did some sewing. I created tassels, well two types of tassels. I actually did some jewelry, so I um, I don't know if I wire wrapped anything. If I didn't, I had every intention to, and I was just trying to get um, a handle on making just these simple loops, which I've always had a problem with. I also did some hand embroidery. So I stamped out their initial on some fabric and put it inside my little embroidery hoop and hand stitched all of the um, letters. For their initial on here, I included a garment pin to attach it and the backs are all done as well. I think they all have the um, minky type fabric that I um, adhered on the back so that they would be a little bit more substantial. So for these hearts, aren't they so cute? I created these puffy hearts. I have a lot of this minky type fabric in different colors. So I made each one to represent the color that is their favorite. So this one has a little bit more texture. I just created my own little template here. So some of the um, sizes will vary. I also stitched on this textured jump ring on each one of them and then attached it to a piece of chain that I added a lobster clasp to each one. I also created these little pom-pom balls as well. Aren't they so cute and fluffy? And then there are just various charms. So all the pink ones will have the same like clusters of charms. The blue ones will have the same and then um, I have like a yellow one and a purple one so just depending on what beads I had. And I know this is a little bit difficult to show. I also created these tassels. I have a bunch of um, eyelash trim so I pulled them out. I also added in some crochet thread in here as well to give it a little bit more texture and fluffiness. Put it on this, um, it's like a huge, it's not even a jump ring because it's actually a solid ring. Put it on a tiny jump ring so they can just take this portion off of this purse charm if they want and stick it on whatever they would like. And then I adhered a tiny little bow to each one of them to finish it off. I also created these 
tassels and this is using crochet thread and then I added some beads and some spacers to create this little um, tassel charm. I always love to include the rhinestone trim whenever I make any type of dangle so I have that on here as well. So that's pretty much it but having to make nine of these, these did take a little bit of time because I did hand make everything. So that is one of the pink ones. I'm just gonna quickly show you the other ones. Like I said, they're very similar. Just the bows might differ. The size of the heart, depending on which template that I used. And the minky fabric. So this one has an S on it. And I hope they like them. They were made with lots of love, as always. This one has another T. I love these hearts. I love how they came out. I do machine stitch the um, majority of it, and then when, after I stuff them, I hand sew them shut. I just love all the sparkle. So here's another pink one. As you can see, a lot of my designers favor the color pink. And here's another pink one. This one has an A initial. And the last pink one. Well, this one is pink and white. So this one has a B on it. I learned how to hand embroider early, early, either end of spring or summer this year. So I've been wanting to incorporate a lot of that into my projects. And I thought this was perfect to do that. Here is a yellow one. This tassel is super chunky. I'm sure if you guys know who I hang out with and who participated, this is very obvious who this one is going to. It has an A on it. I have a purple one. So I had a lot of fun creating these, but like I said, I try to do them in assembly style, but sometimes if I didn't have what I needed, it took a little bit more time. So here's the purple heart and the E initial. And the last two are blue. So here is the blue one. I just love my minky fabric. Here's the tassel for this one. Here's the initial L. And then the last one in the blue. And I hope you guys can see this. It's very difficult to show. This one has the M on it. So these will be going out. Um, they were supposed to go out a lot earlier, but life gets in the way so um, hopefully when they receive these they will love them as much as I loved creating them for them or agreeing to be in that hop and doing an amazing job so I couldn't have picked a better um, cast of characters to help me um, do my very first hop so, so thank you guys so much for stopping by let me know um, let me know which one your favorite is or your favorite technique that I did um, if you would like to see a, a tutorial on any of the um, techniques that I did, let me know that as well. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having a great week so far, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.